Really, which is definitely like, I mean, like taking Vanilla Game Five is a feat within itself, but to also secure that win. Yeah, and Jordan. the product of all of that is that we are going to actually be having for our finals of Zeno Saga Thirty an unconventional match, even for New York. Uh, yeah, Lucario, Banjo versus Lucario, Lucario. Banjo is a, is a little a little something different. Um, and right now, you just see both of them like trying to feel each other out with their respective projectiles. Utopian Ray unfortunately missing a dash grab a little bit earlier. And I'm not sure about that Wonder Wing away. I, I think I have a so feeling it's it's uh, like a B reverse down B that was misinputted, which as uh, Banjo feels really bad. You know, when you're trying to go for all these sick movement things, then you end up expending your yep. win condition resource by accident. And it definitely like hurts more in the air, I think, because like when you a character with such limited mobility, especially like air speed, uh, air speed wise or like air like control wise, like you know it's definitely going to be a problem. But a fantastic air punish, really beautiful stuff. Yeah, not only that, but Wonder Wing is going to be so crucial for this matchup. Killing Lucario, actually closing out stocks, it's paramount. And so having a move that basically, you know, kills anybody and everybody, it's going to be important because otherwise Lucario is just going to be doing that sort of thing to you. Yeah, and Vivi got a beautiful charge, which will be into the up air. And I feel like in this kind of a set, especially, you don't want to be crossing up to, uh, Lucario's shield with um, with Wonderling because at higher percent, he could try to go for, I believe the side B is Force Pump. Um, he could go through the side B at higher percent and you'll just get grabbed and die at 70. Well, I don't know how active the uh, grab, because it's not like you can just like run in and grab it. It's the grab has to outrange the hitbox yes. of the move. And I'm not sure if, uh, I, I, I genuinely don't know whether uh, Force Palm it's like a very, it's a very very specific distance, but um, Ray getting the tech actually, but then his own oh, justice foretold, but he somehow survived that with Lucario at 136 percent. I have was pretty heavy, but even I, 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 that's that's heavier than I thought he was. Yeah, um, then again, it was from across the stage, um, but wow, landing with I believe that was the side B as well, and BB is now sitting at three stocks to one, 158 percent, but. Banjo making the most out of his down tilt. You know, Banjo's down tilt and F tilt are some of the most outrageously destroying moves in this game. They're just like so difficult to even contest with. All right, now another, just to talk about in general sort of the neutral state of these things, uh, that Banjo, his grenade has already been shown to be a fantastic resource for blocking aura spheres, mm -hmm. which especially at higher percents, that's huge. Because yeah. just having an aura sphere launched at you when you're not prepared for it can end your stock at ridiculously low percents. So yeah. just, you know, by making sure that he throws out these grenades periodically, just makes the neutral a lot trickier for VV. I mean, but even that, look at this game oh right now. God. It is just brutally it for uh, in VV's favor at the moment. He might, I think we might even see a character switch from uh, Utopian yeah. Red. I definitely... You know, I do like I do like his banjo quite a bit, but he either needs to completely change up the way that he normally plays because the Wonder Wing punishes are ridiculous. Oh my god. That almost killed him, but not quite yet, but the Oil is food will be the one to take it out. Um he needs to he needs to maybe be able to play a little bit more conservatively. Play a little bit more like I wanna say campy, like make the most of the PS2 platforms. Um, if he is gonna switch, if he is gonna switch, which I think will definitely be the move here, um, then maybe and he could play. Based on this stage kit pick, I think he's definitely gonna be switching to Palo. Um, but I mean, oh, he's gonna be sticking with it. All right. But so the other thing is that Lucario, we did hear earlier uh, from your soul that he has one of the best initial dashes in the game. Lucario, yes. it's like weird how he kind of doesn't struggle to approach just because of how super good that initial dash is. Mm -hmm. You just go into an opponent's range and you're seeing that a BB is just in general being pretty aggressive, going in with these dash attacks, forward airs in his face. And Utopian Ray hasn't had time to really build up that sort of campy wall. And I feel like there's a really interesting exchange what happened there because sort of like uh, Utopian Ray was getting knocked around with some of BB's arrows. <gasps> he had the lead. He had the commitment, but he released a little bit too late. Well, I think also he was expecting him to land on the platform. Yeah. So that was really good spacing on uh, Topian's, Topian Ray's part. In the jab, jab, down smash, jab block. All right, now Vivi, a uh, really smart choice to recover back to center stage because recovering against Banjo Ledge Trapping 
when you get through, like Lucario, can prove to be especially difficult. You don't have a lot of options. I love the one wing. Uh, they're opting to go back to center stage. Wow, that's still... I... That move is just not killing when I think it will. Yeah, I feel Which like you can't time. be doing it at center stage like that because it has like so much. I mean, it's like damage. It's damage that also deters uh, Utopian Ray from shielding. Because if he also, oh my god, and the oil is failed, taking it, and now VV is sitting at a very calm. He's only at 99%. Oh, uh, great! Once again, like he's misjudging the length of his grab. Like this is like the second time we've seen him with a grab. And Normally, that is something you see a lot of play, but not in Winner's Finals play. Maybe a little bit more accustomed to his Palutena grab range. Okay, now he just has to find a way to land, or maybe we gain a little bit of center stage. And a rising back it is going to do it. Oh wow, that forward smash goes unpunished. Finally, the Wonder Wing coming on through, connecting. We're the first time in the set so far. Yeah. Like, despite how many we've thrown out. Oh, no, that's a really bad... It puts him off stage, it puts him in a bad spot, and also it loses one of those Wonder Wing charges. But he was able to still make it back successfully with help of his grenade, because as he was, like, trying to find a way to reset neutral, it kind of gave them both a little bit of shield stun. Uh, maybe, like, throwing off VV's timing quite a bit. And right now, beautifully spaced back, he'll get the final hits of it. And I love the way that Ray is, is like, timing this set, as a, this game, as opposed to the last one. He's playing really, really patiently. Like, you see him, like, playing really considerably, a lot more projectile heavy. And then going in when he needs to, rather than, like, one day when he can across the stage like he was doing before. I love how these two are just playing at that mid-range, you know? That they're just barely outside of each yeah. other's effective thing. And actually, right as I'm saying that, he's staying at mid-range and mid-range, and then he just goes with that burst off yeah. and that Wonder Wing crashing on through, giving him a stock lead, which is huge for Utopian Ray. If he yeah. wants to keep his uh, tournament run alive here, but I feel like right now Vivi has something a little bit more to fight for. He's winning his finals, I believe, in the saga. He did it the first time in a very long time. We put up for the first time. Made a lot of upsets to get here. And so, you know, he's like, this is his moment to prove, like, himself, right? Yeah, if he can get to grand finals at Xeno Saga 30. Not only is exactly. that a Xeno Saga, that's a, Z that's a round number Xeno Saga. With New Jersey players, with Long Island players, with, like, New England here as well. Not only that, but playing his Lucario, a character who lately we've been seeing him with, uh, rock with the Joker. So, hearkening back to that, let's see if he's able to uh, get a 2-0 lead, or whether this is going to end up being evened wow. up a, with a 1-1 match moving into Game 3. A 35% bread and butter from one up throw. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now, he has to find a way to get back onto stage, going with the falling now, converting that into... Ooh, wow, just barely able to shield in time. That's huge for Vivi. He takes the lead once more. Lead doesn't really matter that much. When you're uh, fighting in this Lucario, matchup. Yeah. Yeah. You could die to Wonder Wing at like 90 plus, and then you could just like die to Vivi at any percent he chooses. Alright, at this, this point, Utopian Ray just wants to get Wonder Wing. That's it. He doesn't want to do more damage. Oh to my him. god. He's still alive though. Wow. Oh. And the latest hit! And I feel like both of these players are like just like taking turns on one another. They're like... Oh! And he actually timed that uh, down smash. Yeah, he bonked, and he was able to grab the ledge. But before that ledge snap could happen, you saw the down smash be released. Yeah. And that's evening things up 1-1. One, one, Utopian Ray uh, keeping his... Putting a score on the board as... Uh, I think that now it's sort of... We're seeing a back and forth narrative here, you know? That game won super in Vivi's favor, yep. and that last game very close, but it seems that maybe Utopian Ray is figuring out what he needs to do. And this is also the type of matchup between these two players mm -hmm. where character switches might happen. We could end up having, you know, counter picks. Yeah. Um, they're gonna just gonna be running back to PS3, you know, over and over again. I feel like both of these stages allow both players to like intermittently change aggressively, a little bit more passive aggressively, and and just like both players have a lot to gain from being on either of these stages. Um, 
be going with the... That was interesting. He went through the falling nail into a spot dodge. Maybe he was trying to lead a mash option for me to open away. Either way, lacking up a 41%. Very, very considerable percentage of so far. And I just want to say, I love what Utopian did with the grenades there. He followed the grenades as it was rolling towards him, right? Just to maybe, like, force Vivi like into a position where he cannot approach and he has to wait out the grenade. He controls so much ground space by doing that and I think that was a really lovely play. Alright, great ledge trapping. That's honestly something that we haven't really seen be that effective yet for Vivi. It seems that Topian Ray has just been getting off ledge pretty for free. And oh, that is not for free. Going in with that Wonder Wing, and it was just scouted out a million miles away. Vivi closing out that stock in a big manner. I mean, he's only at 75%. And yes, normally Lucario does like to, you know, be losing, but being up a stock? You know, like if he's at, in the red and... Like, if, if Banjo's at kill percent at 50, and Lucario still has his third stock, you know? That's an even better place to be. All right, let's see if the ledge trapping can be just as good for Utopian Ray, because it kind of needs to be. He can't just do more and more damage without, you know, some type of finishing blow. And just the awareness from Vivi that he set up a tactic scenario, but was he just charging all this way when he got Wonder Wing? Yes. Huh. I mean, he, who would expect the Wonder Wing? <laughs> yeah, Utopian Ray is so aggressive with them. Um, Oh my god. And like, it's like so difficult, like, either of them are like getting anything particularly monumental started, they land a hit, then the other person lands a hit, and they're keeping it mostly even for now. <gasps> oh my god, had Utopian Ray waited just a second longer on the F-Smash, he could have definitely had Vivi. Oh, he messed up, he wasn't, I guess, didn't quite punish that cross up on the Wonder Wing. Yep. That's really bad for Vivi. I mean, he's doing all right right now, but every missed punish is missed damage. Beautiful pivot grab backward just to throw him off stage, reassert stage control for himself. And I love that. He had the green in his hand. He just like went up like, like almost like Kamikaze, you know? <laughs> he just went up. I think up. he threw it at the last second, didn't he? But he still got hit by it, I think. Did he? I actually do not know. I thought he didn't. Then I might have uh, misinterpreted the situation, but regardless, beautiful play from Vivi. And right now, both of them keeping it really, really close. They're just respecting each other's space so much. I feel like the way that they're both play patiently playing around shield. They're just like really not trying to challenge anything that they don't have oh, to. Oh, that scoop was so good though. <gasps> Whenever you see somebody who's like finally gets into the opponent's zone, catches a jump like that, it means that they're starting to figure out the opponent's habits. If if Vivi is no longer comfortable going into the air, that seriously limits how he's going to be able to play the neutral against Ray. Oh and my god, gorgeous, gorgeous! The way that he, he outspaced it by going up to that platform. Vivi looking in top form tonight. I I mean, he's he, gotten so many kills off of that force pump. Ray has to definitely clean up the usage of it, but calling the recovery, calling like the misspace recovery with the F smash and bringing it right back to the even game. Anyway, Ray is just like opting to play really, really patiently, throw out a grenade, see how he reacts to it. Is he gonna pick it up? It's like centering the main part of his play around it. The spacing on that, just barely. Oh, this could be big. Right, just go, the range on that forward smash was just enough to effectively punish the Wonder Wing. Yep. He got the final hits of the. He got some of the hits of the drag down neutral and converted it into a grab from a platform when it wasn't even a drag down, it was just, huh. That was a really interesting exchange. Regardless, both of them are getting higher and higher percent, almost exactly even. But the honestly percent isn't even relevant anymore. It's all about who can get the big hit, who can get that just brutal finisher. The, I don't even know, the, I think it was actually a grab right there and it was not what he needed. <gasps> Do it! Such a good Force recovery mix-up. That was really great stuff because Vivi was so ready to punish the re-grab on the ledge, but Utopian Ray was just having none of that. Because he put himself in such a position where Vivi could not punish him for re-grabbing, but he could punish Vivi for trying to punish that. So that was just like a really great, like, like a bit of meta play there. 
This is a huge ledge trap, possibly. Vivi go gets some stage control. Seems he's back in control. That Aura Sphere is not enough to seal the deal, but there is only one Wonder Wing left. He doesn't need it necessarily to win the game, uh. but he's... Oh, he gets trapped at the ledge. Just then calling, desperately ledge. trying to get back there. And just in scar fashion. Yeah. Lucario's just up there, long live the <laughs> king. Um, I'm not entirely sure what Ray's thought process was behind not snapping to ledge, why he held down. I think that was actually a uh, technical flub, if yeah. I had to guess. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was just, like, he just like overshot the ledge. Yeah. Maybe just like wasn't completely like present of like what was happening in front of him. Maybe he wanted to pick up a green in and throw it. Regardless, going into game four, this will be this could potentially bring Vivi into grand finals, or this could be the game that brings us to game five. Um, Vivi trying to call out maybe a jump in lay with that uh, last neutral, but perhaps it was to be a fast fall one. Not entirely sure of the intention behind <gasps> no! it. No, 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 no! He's alive, but that's two Wonder Wings gone. Yeah, play, man. Oh my god, Ray was almost able to convert off of the grenade into a forward. A great awareness just knowing that, that that is the exchange about to take place. He has to know that he cannot punish the nail on his shield. Lucario's nail on shield is perhaps one of like the safest moves in the game. Almost positive, I believe it's only like minus two. You know, I feel like this the matchup between these two players, these games, it's practically a master class at playing neutral in the like the mid-range. Yep. The way that they're just just so conscious of the opponents, you know, what their options are, how to counter that, how to be evasive and wily. It's, I think it's just so impressive that Utopian Ray is able to take a character like Banjo. I mean, he looks so bulky, he looks so doofy, and yet he just weaves him in and out of these moves. And by the same token, Vivi just picking his placement so well, reading that Wonder Wing and ending. Utopian rates life for it. Lucario has the movement speed just to be able to dash back with Punisher. And honestly, I'm just like surprised that Ray continues to go through those, despite the fact that Vivi has only been hit by those once. Trying to maybe get a jab lock with the um, with that interaction there. But uh, maybe he was trying to do a pivot F smash and that miss input of a stash attack. Not entirely sure about the intention behind that one either. And that is going to be the barely into the up tilt. All right, that's about 80% that's put on Utopian Ray right now. Right. Wait, no. I like this. He's playing very slippery, very sneaky. He doesn't want to commit to anything. Mixing up the projectiles he's using. Yep. What a parry. Really, but not able to get a punish off of it. I don't think he had any burst options um, quick enough. Or maybe just substantial enough. It might have been the F tilt to the, like, turn around F tilt could have done something. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you look... He's managed to make this comeback happen already, and it was just nothing but stellar Once, neutral play. Ah, uh, Vivi. I don't think Vivi was confident enough that he'd be able to get the force pump. Oh, and there he only got the secondary projectile hit. Very, very unfortunate, because that's surely Well, the thing is the that he was, the grenade was there, which meant that he couldn't just overly commit right. to punishing it. That was a really smart, sort of tricky mix-up from Ray, and that is what helps him... That's what helped put him over the edge. He has this lead now. And having a lead against Lucario was really big for him, especially because now he can play a little bit more of that careful, patient, projectile style. And if he does, he can maybe he might not even have to look at his last stop. Oh, but he does. And now I feel like this is gonna be something similar to what we've seen for the past two games, where we had these extremely last hit, last stop situations. As soon as it gets to this point, where both of them are, you know, low percent one yep. stock, the trades are coming out and... And it was really... Ooh, once again, I'm throwing out a spot dodge, really panicky defensive option. And honestly, like, you see Ray starting to maybe adapt to the neutralize on shield a little bit better, mixing it up with a roll every now and then, um, just to make sure that Vivi cannot punish him after hitting a shield. Oh, I know this is so scary. That is going to be the back throw. Maybe he didn't want to go through the barely, but the barely up tilt... Might have certainly taken it. Wow! A beautiful wall clink. Such. What a great recovery mix up. Just so much technical prowess from Vivi. Is that him? No way! He actually takes it! The counter with 144 damage on Lucario finishes the job! He was at what? He was at 80? He was at 75? That was just completely brutal. He just swept across the stage wow. and took it. Wow. Yeah, we are getting the years. <laughs> 
we're getting years in a venue despite this being not only a tri-state own like like nobody here those are two new york players those are two new york players those are two new york city players okay this is kind of a new york moment i guess yeah <laughs> because either either way but this is vivi in grand finals of xeno saga that's genuinely amazing. He's done so well today, backing up wins like Venia and um, Bad 999. He got so. And now Utopian Ray. And Ray has to then go on to face against the winner of these two yeah. demons sitting poised in loser semis that we're going to get a chance to look at in just a moment Dill and Venia. But before that.